again. It's a red skin. me please forgive me i have forgiven you already please i came here with this flower as a sign of my love for you i want to make you the mother of my unborn kids we have been together for the past three years i can't just let you go i truly love you sandra how i wish you can open my heart to see the kind of love i have for you please baby be my wife i promise to take good care of you see I know you're a good guy, and I know you would take good care of me. But I'm sorry, I can't marry you. You are not my speck. I don't like the shape of your head. I don't like your voice. You talk like a mosquito. I don't like your face. It's ugly. In fact, I don't like anything in your body. If I mistakenly marry you, I will be cheating. I can't settle down with a guy like you. You are not my class. Even if I manage to ignore other things, I can't cope with this your ugly face. Baby, don't worry. I will do a face surgery and I will look handsome. Even if you look handsome, what about your pocket? Will your pocket also be handsome? Yes, I will sew a cloth that will have handsome pocket. Look at what I'm saying. Your sense too is not complete. When I say your pocket is not handsome, I mean you don't have money. Ah, baby, I have money. Oh. My father is 75 years old now. When he dies, I will inherit all his properties. Please, guy, I can't marry you. You're not my speck. So, for these three years that you have been eating my money, you did not know I am not your speck. After spending my money on you, then you are saying I am not your speck. How much did you spend on me? How much? Don't worry. Go and calculate all the money you spent on me. As soon as I get married, I will pay back. You want to get married? No, I'll be waiting for you. Please take your flower and leave my house. Ah, Sandra. What you are doing to me is not good, oh. See, I have moved on with my life. We are no more together. Oh, yeah, leave my house. I will be waiting for your feedback. I will come back next week. If I see you here again, I will pour you hot water. Now leave. It's not a game. It's a red skin. Hello, MD. Yes, Sandra, baby. How are you? MD, I'm not fine. Uh-uh. Why now? It's about the money you asked me to pay. I couldn't get the whole money. So how much are you able to get? I can only afford 50k. 50k? Ah, no. I can't take that amount from you. I don't even have it at hand. Okay, MD, can I pay you with something else? And what's that? Let me pay with my body. I'm not a ritualist or a native doctor. So what will I do with your body? If that I am a native doctor, eh -heh, when you pay with your body, I will use it for sacrifice. No, MD, that's not what I meant. So what do you now meant? I mean, let me pay in kind. We will book a hotel or can I come to your house and satisfy you? Then you forget about the money. Oh, you want to satisfy me with your body? Exactly. Please don't say no. Wow! So what about my friend Caleb? He won't know about it. Wow, nice one! Don't worry, I will give you a feedback. Thanks, I'll be waiting. Alright, bye! Chai! This girl is trying to be smart. She want to test me. Hmm. She want to offer me her body in exchange for the 2 million naira. No! This is set up. Should I go on to accept this offer? No, 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 no. Accepting this offer means I will betray my friend Caleb forever. I can't. Caleb has been a good friend. I can't allow him to marry this whore. If I allow this, then I am the most wicked human being on earth. This girl that loves money. She will just finish Caleb money and take him back to square one. God forbid. I can't allow this. Chai! So people are heartless, yeah? She wants to give me the same body she has been sharing with different men. Lori Ro, this can't happen. Never! It's not a game. It's a 
I can't believe I fell in love with someone I met on Facebook. I'm still surprised. Even me, I can't even explain it. But you are the one that made the first approach. I still remember the first message you sent to me. Yeah, when I checked your profile picture, I saw something in you. So I don't want to waste time at all when I see something I like. I don't really believe someone can find true love on Facebook. Since we met on Facebook, I won't have issues paying your bride price in cash. I will just buy data for your parents. You are just too funny. Thank God I found you. So I'm thinking we should start planning for our wedding. When would you want us to have the wedding? I'm thinking of next two months. Wow. I can't believe this. So finally, this relationship is leading to marriage. Yeah. You know I told you I'm a lover boy. I love with my wisdom, knowledge and understanding. My spirit, soul and body. Just get ready because when I will start releasing the love I have for you, you would be left with no other option than to change your name from Sandra to Lovette. Caleb the lover boy. Baby, I will loot you like a palliative. In fact, I will scatter your warehouse with love. I'm all yours. Use me and do what you like. So baby, I will be traveling back by next two weeks. I want to go and prepare for the wedding. You know this thing will cost a lot of money, so I need to put some things in order before that very day. I can't wait. I wish the wedding can be next week, or even this week. Don't worry now. Two months is not far. It's not a game. It's a red Hello, Sandra. How are you? Um, I have agreed with your offer. Yes, I have agreed. Yes, yeah, so since you can't pay the two million naira, you can offer me your body. No problem. The place you would meet. Okay, um, let's meet at Lover's Garden Hotel. It will be by next week because I don't have chance this week. Okay. Remember you will be the one to pay for the hotel, oh. Don't worry now. Nah. You don't have any problem at all. Once we are done, I will forget everything. And I promise not to take Caleb anything about you. Okay now. Nah. See you at Lover's Garden Hotel next week. Bye. <laughs> See this mumu girl. She want to infect me with sickness. Even if I'm looking for a lady to sleep with, it will definitely not be her. I can't have anything to do with a rose girl that has been jumping from one man to another. After committing all her atrocities, she wants to settle down with a good man. She forgets that whatever a man sow, that shall he also reap. <laughs> Let's see how it goes now. Hello, baby. Baby, hello. Haba, baby. Now what for you?